today I'll be taking you through our daily mobile firefighting unit which is a solution that has been designed uh, to help you combat an emergency such as fire and now we get to see how this solution works first and foremost we have our fire rated horse reel that is carefully selected and designed for firefighting applications it's an easy fix of connecting it onto the delivery end of the unit and fastening with the quick coupling that is there as we have this secured let's remember the maintenance checks that we do in order to ensure trouble free operation of the unit remember your engine oil your spark plug ensure you have fuel in the in the fuel tank and your air cleaner has been dusted and maintained to allow you have a stress free operation as you use the unit with our delivery hose that is fire rated secured ready to fight we now move on to secure our second piece of equipment which is a suction hose that is wire braided to avoid any instances of collapsing as the engine is operating so with our fire rated hose reel already in place we now move on to connect our wire braided suction hose. we now easily connect our suction hose and have the opposite end fitted or um, positioned into our standby or any available source of water to help us combat this emergency. So as easy as that, we secure our suction hose and we ensure the connection fits tightly to avoid any source of leakage or any air penetrating into the system that will cause some air locks. Now to the interesting part, we get to fire up the engine uh, to see how this um, unit works. On the engine, we have our engine switch, um, take it to on, and then make sure you had checked your fuel level, that you have enough petrol in the engine. This unit has a three liter uh, fuel tank, which is enough to give you um, a comfortable hours of operation. At the top of the pump and assembly of our daily engine, we have a priming port. The beauty about this is the priming port allows you to prime your suction line to ensure it has water to avoid the pump sucking in water which will cause an airlock into your system through the suction hose and through to the delivery end. So now with a few twists of the knob I have my priming port opened and I proceed to prime my pump. So remember, if your engine has been idle for a while, you need to use the choke system to help you fire up the engine as fast as possible. On cold start, ensure the choke is on the on position, which is the top lever at the valve assembly. Of course, the valve has two positions, which also acts as an aiming aid as you position or fire your jet of water. 